What's up, NASCAR 15 fans, and welcome to the most unique track in the entire world, Kansas Speedway at night. We're here because Diet Do Hunter 88 TM decided uh, to get the most upvotes. Of course, he didn't decide that. You guys in the comments did. And if you want to, go down in the comments right now and do a track suggestion for the next video in my NASCAR 15 Let's Play. If you get the most upvotes, you'll get a shout out. You also may notice that my car has a pretty unique scheme. It's kind of aping off of Kyle Larson's target paint scheme, except for in purple. And that was suggested by X NASCAR 48 fan. I thought that was a pretty cool suggestion, so I decided to roll with it. Uh, I, but though I didn't really put a bunch of purple Target logos in the white, I should have probably done that. But oh well. So we're here at Kansas, an interesting track. And uh, if you're wondering where I qualified, well, yeah, that's right. My first poll of NASCAR 15, I do believe. So it's going to be very interesting. I only beat Ryan Newman by a hundredth of a second so it's going to be a very close race probably here at the front I believe it's 53 laps so uh, let's get into it Kansas Speedway what's going to happen can I win from the pole probably not here we go Kansas Speedway remember to drop a like on the video for me qualifying on pole it's no easy task with 100% AI, I can tell you that. So here we go. Kansas Speedway, and we're underway. We got wheel spin already. Bouncing off a of flying Ryan there as he chops down to try to block into turn one. He was unable to do so. Let's see if we can pull away here in turn one, get underneath him, not let Paul Menard go underneath us either. Paul Menard actually helped us to the front. I believe those are teammates. So teammates working against each other on the opening lap. And now let's see if we can build up a gap. Tony Stewart going through the middle in the scheme, the Code 3 scheme that he won the Sonoma real life race in. Running and here we go. Awesome let's try not to get in the wall. Because I just touched the wall. Gotten a little too hot there. Gonna understeer just a slight bit. They continue to run three wide. Menard has finally gotten around for the second position. So he's going to try to chase me down now, though. I've got a, what, i got a almost half a second lead right now. I'll take that. No one's going to touch you out here today. And I've just kind of got to hope that uh, if I'm pulling away this much, I've kind of got to hope that NASCAR doesn't see a water bottle on the track or a piece of paper out of the groove or on the apron because you know they will call competition cautions or maybe Clint Boyer will spin out you never know folks you never know that was awful high just clipped the wall there and I've already you know a shark has bitten, you can do this. bitten my car for whatever reason because I clipped the wall twice And good exit. Look how far out I'm in. I'm almost got a two-second lead at this point. Just gap in the field. I don't know what is going on. I'm using a setup from the chase race uh, that I ran at Kansas from, I think it was Travis the Patriot over on Twitter. Uh, you'll have to watch that video. You're doing, you just keep doing it. But uh, this is a really good setup. And it's allowing me to just pull away. I don't know how I didn't win the first time with this setup. And, of course, I'm predicting a win when I haven't won yet, which is probably a really bad idea. But I'm almost two seconds out in front of Menard, Stewart, and Kane. They're just gone. Hey, That was close. And that killed a lot of momentum, and I lost about three-tenths there to Menard. It's amazing how bunched up the field is as well. It's like, really? <laughs> At Kansas? I mean, I get it. It's almost flat out in this game. At least on fresh tires. But, um, yeah. This is something I'm hoping they improve for NASCAR digging. Heat Evolution. 
uh, let the field spread out a bit more. Doing great. Nice and steady. Second place is way back. Thank you, Spotter. Two, almost three second lead as I get way too wide there. But I keep going. No problems to report. Fuel's at half a tank. Tire wear's pretty, uh, pretty lousy. No bueno. No bueno. I lost a second. Way more than a second there. With that wall glitch nonsense. It's unfortunate because I had a three second lead, which is now 1.3. Thankfully, it didn't damage the suspension because the car, the, the, the setup is on such a knife's edge that you really have to be in, in control of it. You have to know, you have to kind of be confident enough to let it push out towards the wall, and I wasn't there. I had to kind of blip the throttle a bit. But if you can be confident enough, it really is a good setup because you can just arc the car from the entrance to the corner down to the to the center, hit clip that apex, and then ride it you know full throttle out of the corner, right up next to the wall. Running a higher line here, Crew which really isn't necessarily a bad thing. The crew chief is concerned about the fuel. I'm not concerned about it quite yet. Probably can make it maybe one more lap, maybe two. We'll see. Crossing the line this time. Gotta have you on pit road this lap, buddy. Nice and smooth. You're way out front. Use that clean air. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Oh no. There goes my lead. Okay, so Josh Wise exiting the pits and spins. Really? Let's do this. Alrighty, first stop of the day under yellow. Um, not really enthused about NASCAR's yellow there with Josh Wise spinning in the pits. That doesn't warrant a yellow in my book, but whatever. I'm going to stop complaining, and hopefully we uh, can restart near the front. I'm not sure how this is going to cycle out. Nice pit stop right there. Just like well, the there you go. Restarting fourth okay, go on the outside. Yeah, we actually are one of the fastest cars out there this time, so we'll find Hold out what's going to happen. Hopefully, don't Hold spin the tires. I'm expecting to, though. And there we go. Spun the tires. Not too bad, though, this time. Going to lose a spot to Biffle, though. Let's see how good the car is in traffic. Got a car behind. We'll get him next time, buddy. Ooh, we are losing spots fast. Pagano underneath Kane. And we just have to be patient. Got clearly the fastest car. Now, Stewart. Gonna dispatch a Stewart pretty quickly, I think. We got this, yep. buddy. He lifted coming out of four. I now we'll chase Logano. In fact, Biffle very fast right now. He's moved up to second from from uh, his fifth place starting position. Ooh, 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 ooh. Biffle just brake checks me coming out of turn two, not particularly sure why. So we'll try to drive around the outside here. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Car on the bottom, one back. Car inside, trying to get you to your gotta corner. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, save it. Just as fast as him, let's chase him back down. Yep, caution's out, roll out of the throttle, buddy. <sighs> Uh, Biffle had it out for me. I don't know. He clipped me off going into the corner. Obviously, Stenhouse got in the wall. That's not a very good replay, but whatever. Okay, here okay. we go. Okay, he's restarting 11th on the bottom. Uh, this uh, should turn out well. Hopefully, Biffle doesn't do anything okay. too stupid to this time. Be on your toes, buddy. Here we go. The driver in first two seconds ahead. Just do a I NHRA burnout through the first two gears, whatever. Okay, behind you. All Got right. One working the top. Go low, go low. Be really careful here. One outside. Going low. 
Kane's about to get up into Logano there. They've made contact. Truex falling through the, the field. Kurt Busch, Brian Vickers. Are we going to be able to do anything with this? Can I drive through the middle? Nope, that's not going to work. Almendinger about got in the back of me. Did not, though. Biff will fall in like a rock. There you go. The leader's a second ahead. Well, this is tough in traffic. Right's clear. Got a very Keep good draft on Vickers. It was one of those controller vibrating ones, so I assume that means it's good. Now Kane and Logano. We weren't racing very nice with each other earlier. Run up underneath. Ooh. Well, I just made some people happy. Others I didn't make happy. And now we've lost some positioning to uh, Menard and whoever else this is. I think it's Newman and Kane. Thankfully, all the guys in the back are racing incredibly hard with each other. So it's really going to be a four-car race at the moment. Well, if I hadn't braked quite that hard into the corner, though, get a decent exit here. Menard leads by a second. Less than a second now, but it doesn't really matter. More or less a second. We've got a good run, but the car understeered just a little bit. Couldn't quite get around Kane coming through one and two. Should be able to get him here in three and four. Let's see. Come on, come on, there we go. Looks there really we go. Right here. Stay high. And we'll get behind Newman. Inside's clear. Try to slingshot him going into one. Left side's Gonna clear. shut the door, but just barely. Man, Newman is really running uh, running quite a bit dirty. He was dirty on the start too, if you remember. Now let's see if we can't get, uh, get past old Paul Ard here. Oh, come on. Hanging around the outside. Come Far on. Side by side. Do a little bit of side draft and almost bang doors. But Ready we'll lead go. across the Three line zero. that time. One down low. Well, you're low. Let's see if I can get around Menard this time. And indeed, I clear him. So now let's start building the gap before what I would assume is green flag pit stops. But... It's also assuming that Josh Wise won't uh, run out of talent in the pits again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Speaking of running out of talent, that was not good. You having fun out there? Uh, kinda. I don't know if that was a sarcastic remark Better about me side. catching the wall in four there, but okie dokie. And Menard hanging right back there with Kane now has gotten around Ryan Newman. Menard had a good run there, but was unable to do anything about it. Back. And you're clear. Ooh, Kane just dropped like a lead balloon as well for some, for no apparent reason. And now let's build this gap. Or try to. Try to get a good exit, because that's, that's where the AI isn't very good is the exit, but I wasn't very good on that exit. Menard's getting a draft down the back straightaway. Alright, there we go. This corner is much better. Menard has to back off big time. We use the apron to break the draft. We can do this all day. And into turn one. Sparks flying. A signature of night racing. Not getting through one and two particularly well. The revs sound a bit low when we're going through there. Right now my car is better in three and four, at least on old tires. We'll see how uh, that changes when we go in the pits. The car should be peeling off here in a bit. There may have been also some cars that pitted under that yellow. But they're not going to be able to go too much farther than we are. And I'm not really concerned about strategy playing a factor, but it, it could. All right, we'll come around and pit the next time by. We want 
pit this lap. We need our car to be right. 10-4. 10-4. Okay, let's get that clean air. Keep digging. All right. Easy does it. Got a big time lead on Ryan Newman. He just has to be nice and careful coming into the pits here. Down to we third gear. Fuel, buddy. Take a look at your gauge, 10 Down to second. We Probably entering the pits way Watch too dials. slowly. Here we go. I'm quite happy with the setup. We're just putting uh, four Dr. Field goods on there, as Jack Root used to say on the old Versus IndyCar broadcast. And we're going to go back out and into the fray. Hopefully, we won't be too far behind or lose any positions because of the pit crew. We'll find out. Here we go. Back onto the circuit. Now the pit exit here at Kansas. And I was just about to pr prove my point before I said it. Very slick. And Menard is going to get past this easy. Uh-oh. So we're going to have to chase down Paul Menard. He's got a two and a half second lead out of the pits. It's unfortunate. So just time to hammer down and catch Mr. Menard. Kane still leads. There's several cars coming out of the pits. We should pass them pretty easily. You're passing those two cars ahead of you. Come on now. Looking really good, buddy. Boy, I was almost flat in turn one there. Just had to li just had to get on the brakes a little bit in the center there, but I was flat out way late into turn one. Come on. We can get Mr. Menard here. Let's go. The driver in first, two seconds ahead. Man, he's still two seconds ahead, man. We got to go. And we're starting to e eat into that gap a little bit. Not entirely sure how we lost two seconds in the pits to Menard. But, um... There you have it. Let's uh, get up there. We got just That's about 20 laps to go. And to we're go, coming buddy. to 20 laps to go. Probably need to one, make one more pit stop. Uh, car just had a bit of understeer through one and two. I really wish there was some lap traffic. That would help me out immensely. It's not uh, going to happen, so I'm going to have to chase down Menard on pace which we're starting to do once we get in his draft it'll be pretty much curtains okay, for him the leader's a second ahead come on decent through one and two but not particularly great we are gaining we're under a second now Just got to hope he doesn't get a very good exit. Looks like he did, but we got a slightly better one. Just run a smooth line and get up to him. Ooh, this is good. This is a good corner here. Car stayed planted the whole time around one and two. Really eating into this gap right now. Come on. No draft yet. Half a second between the two of us. We had to breathe it in between one and two. Car didn't push wash up quite as far as I thought it would. Uh oh, here we go. This may be the pass here. Come on. Got to get more Come aggressive, on. man. Pass the slow car in front. Yep, yep. 10-4. Here we go. We get behind Menard. Can't quite pass him. Maybe we will in turn number one. Keep it he's low. A... Keep it low. Ooh, he's just a... Ooh. Nice. And he freaks now out. Got around him. Man, that was Fight's close. Clear, bud. I was worried about that. I thought for sure that was going to be a wreck. He, he kind of... Stayed right in the middle on the entry to one and two. I wasn't sure what lane he was going in, and it turned out he was right in the middle because I went low, and he just kind of eased the car down on me a bit. But now we can start pulling away. 
and set ourselves up for the last pit stop. Which is going to be crucial in this race because hopefully the crew is not as slow. And if they are as slow, I need to put a big gap between myself and Menard. Bigger than the last time we went into the pits. So it's it's crucial right now to run run real fast and not make any mistakes. And that traffic I was asking for we earlier may be coming day. up. Which is kind of disconcerting. Car's still not really sticking in one and two. I'm not really sure why. I don't feel I'm getting the maximum out of one and two. That I could be anyway. Ooh, a little too wide, a little too wide. Had to get out of it. Kind of killed that lap. There we go. It's decent through one and two. Now let's see if we can get three and four right. As cars begin to peel off and make their final pit stops. I could come in now, but I don't great. really want to. I want the freshest tires possible, back. especially if there were to be a green-white checker, because I'm certainly not going to pit under that circumstance. All right, should have one more lap till we pit at the line. We can't go many more laps on this fuel. See what happens and Time see if we road, can't go lap, in the pits lap, with Menard, because that would be incredibly advantageous yep gonna have to pit this lap please do not be a lap car Gilland it's okay he helped me into the pits I guess all right downshift slow 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 remember that road speed so this house right here all right, so Menard did come into the pits with us, so it's a race between the crews right now. Hopefully my crew is fast enough. I did see that Ryan Newman did stay out, so he will have to come in later on. It's, uh, it's a strategy race, assuming there's no yellows. And again, assuming is a, is a bad idea. Let's see if the car doesn't spin out. Okay, I'm a lap down. That's not good. Did beat Menard quite handily out of the pits. Bush leads the race by a lap right now over us. So I'm not terribly worried about. There goes Josh Wise, who caused the yellow that really hurt Bloody the path. lead that I had Last earlier in the race. And here we go. Menard is three seconds behind. Don't have to worry about him. Ten to go. Keep rolling. Ten laps Keep rolling. to go. Whoa, out. And there it out. is, where we trapped a lap down. You've got to be kidding me. Again? Really? All right, so we're coming back to the restart. I selected the outside lane, but it put me on the inside. Thanks for that. Um, we are the leading green, the race. Coming to the green. And Ryan Newman alongside. Hey, this is a replay of the start of the race. Good restart from us. Newman gets a little bit better restart. He's going to be the, the leader into turn number one. Here comes Logano as Park well down on the inside. Up There's top, Kenseth. This is a volatile Park combination. Outside, yeah. Ooh, Newman had to lift off just slightly. Let's see if we can get in front of him down the back straightaway. Unable to do so. But we are out in front Board of the position. race. Outside, Last of the late breakers into turn number three. Here comes Newman to the outside. And he's going to make the pass. They're on the outside. Watch him here. He's coming up fast. Uh-oh. Run the high line. Newman goes up the block. Man, he is aggravated right now. Keep it he low. Keep tries it low. to chop to the bottom, but we got through one and two fantastically that time. And get around him. Ooh, Newman was really slow in three and four. In fact, they're going four wide back there. 
as Kenseth has moved up into second position. Got to break the draft. Five to go. Got fresh tires. Just got to hope that nothing crazy happens in the back of the pack, and I think we may have this. Oh, man, this is, this is tense stuff. If you guys remember, I did win at Watkins Glen earlier in this Let's Play, the 2016 NASCAR 15 Let's Play, but it was under go. fuel mileage situation. Had to clutch and coast the car, as you will. In fact, made the race without a single pit stop. This race has had pit stops, it's had yellows. It's had spins, it's had crashes. But right now I'm leading the race on pace. Not on fuel mileage, not on strategy, not on wrecking my way through the top of the field. Ready to go. And now, with three laps to go, I'm gonna try to take a legitimate win in NASCAR 15. Something I haven't done yet. I'm really starting to stretch out the lead on Kenseth. That's good. It's holding at about nine tenths right now. Two to go. Nice and smooth. You're way out in front. Use that clean air. Maybe lift it off a little bit too much in turn one, but. Still gaining on Kenseth. Here we go. White flag's coming out. Oh boy, is this going to be win number two? Come on, Victor Lane, buddy. This is it. Oh, don't fail me now. Just got to keep it smooth here. One corner to go, or two corners, depending on how you count them. Don't need to push it too hard. Get the car around. And coming to the checkered flag to win in NASCAR 15 for the second time. Yes. Got the second victory of NASCAR 15. I am thrilled about that. Led 31 laps, had the pole position. Man, that was just an excellent, excellent race. AJ Allmendinger came in third. Not really sure how that happened, especially consider, considering how he brought out the yellow. Paul Menard, who was one of my best competition during the race, ended up finishing 19. Go down through the rest of the field. Plenty of cars at one lap behind. Probably because of that yellow that happened during the pit sequence. But, that was my second win in NASCAR 15. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this. Also, be sure to subscribe for more NASCAR 15 and eventually NASCAR Heat Evolution when that comes out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next video.